Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the next episode of City Skylines with me, Biffa. Here we are in the city of New Zealand, and today we are going to be adding some fantastic builds and expansions to this area that's coming up on the left here. We worked on this uh, in the last uh, episode. We've got our new transit hub, which you're about to see at the front, and I'd really like to beautify and add in some buildings that our citizens just can't help themselves but to come and visit and come over to this area. I've also got a few fixes, just been reading through the comments as always. Thank you for your tips and things that have I've done wrong and there was something that broke. This uh, train station coming up here broke and I didn't even notice it so we're going to have a look at that as well. But just before we get stuck into those amazing things, let's have a quick word from our sponsor NordVPN. Hugo is visiting his Scandinavian cousin Bjorn Hugerson. Bjorn works at the city of Antarctica's snow dump and is training Hugo on the safe and efficient way to remove snow and keep the streets clean for all the city citizens. While he is visiting, Hugo will also be training Bjorn on how to surf the internet safely and game securely with NordVPN. So if you want to secure your internet connection while on public Wi-Fi, watch your favourite TV shows while abroad and block malware-ridden websites, then NordVPN is for you. With NordVPN, like Hugo, you can have a fast and secure roadway to your destination. With over 5,400 super fast servers in 59 countries, you can be fast and safe traveling the internet no matter where you are or where you want to get to. To get NordVPN, go to nordvpn.com slash biffer and use the coupon code biffer. And for every purchase of a two-year plan, you get a bonus gift plus a huge discount. Well, Hugo will soon be heading back to sunny New Zealand, but he is happy in the knowledge that cousin Bjorn Hugerson is protecting the internet for the fine folks in Antarctica with NordVPN. Right, so here we are back over at this train station that we added into this new area. And I worked so hard getting these roads and paths to go over on top of the rail. But what do you notice? Uh, for those of you that may not have noticed, this is the elevated island platform station. And the trains are down the bottom. I think using the Move It mod has messed that up, which is a bit annoying. Um, I was thinking of leaving it, but what happens is people come in and they still walk to the top. And there's like a weird big hole through there. Yeah, we need to fix that. So it's going to break some stuff over here. So what I'm thinking of doing is pausing the game. We're going to use the Move It mod to select that. And then in here is a reset object. And I'm hoping... That is going to reset it. Oh, the game's frozen. Something's happened. It jumped. There we go. Look. Now the rail is up in the air where it belongs. Excellent. So that means over here, this is all going to be all over the place. Do you know what? Actually, that isn't too bad. Because what we can do now is... Um, what's going to be the best way of doing this? If I grab that one there... Uh, connect this here. I'm going to put Anarchy on and connect that. But then I'm going to change this to... I want this basically on the ground. So I'm thinking we're just going to use the Move It mod. And we're going to put that all the way down on the ground here. And then we're also going to just upgrade that bit. Oh, so I've got the Move It mod on. There we go. Upgrade this bit to be on the ground. Uh, we're going to do that bit to be on the ground. And I'm also going to do all of this section here. And then we'll come back to working on that. I mean, that slopes down. That's okay. So we're going to need to shiftify some of these bits and pieces here now that this is on the ground. And then I'm just going to change this a little bit. Let us use some mods here to help us out. So I'll turn the Move It mod off. We're going to grab our network, whatever it's called, thingy. We're going to add a node in here. We're then going to re-upgrade this back to an elevated piece <laughs> like that you know what i mean and then we're going to smooth all what is this up here grabber move cursor to button to move unified panel oh no i'm moving things ah have i messed something up no i don't know what that is i've never seen it before so if i click that and do that but it could always do that anyway so I don't know what that is. Um, if you know, let me know in the comments below. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to slope this. So we're going to use this tool here. And we're going to slope that from there to there. 
There we go. That's not too bad, is it? So that slopes down there. It's on ground level. Excellent. Uh, I might just do the same from here to here. There we go. That raised that up a little bit. And then this road here can actually go back down to uh, ground level. So if we upgrade that, ground level, and... Oh, darn it. Let's turn that off. That and that. Then we'll put that back on again. And then we'll use the Move It mod to do that and get rid of any trees. So how's that looking? Whoa, that is way up in the air. So let's get those at the same height as that. There we go. Excellent, excellent. Let me just fiddle around with these to get rid of this little bit in the middle here. There we go, all sorted. All I needed to do was click on it with the uh, node controller mod and it sorted it out. That's fine. Um, so the other thing we need to do is just sort these slopes here. Um, so let's just do that as well. We're going to go from... Uh, the top of the station here is not letting me pick it. So that should be that one there. We'll give that a nice big long slope. Yeah, I didn't think I'd selected the station. All right, we'll start from this end and go that way. Yeah, there we go. Excellent. Uh, maybe we'll start a little bit further. That is quite a slope. Yeah, there we go. That's better. Let's do the same from here. We'll go from there all the way up to there. Three points something or other. Yeah, that looks okay, doesn't it? Let's zoom in and have a look. That's much better. Look, going over the road and over here. And everything should be working fine. Yep, there they go. Fantastic. Right, okay, cool. That was one fix. So the last thing that I wanted just to change that was mentioned by a few people, we've started putting taxis around the place. Uh, you have to have taxi depots in. Um, but apparently taxi depots only have a certain amount of taxis that can go out to the taxi stands. Now, it doesn't say on here how many that is. I have no idea how many that is, and I'm not entirely sure how many taxi stands we have, uh, how many taxi depots we have around the place. I can tell you for sure it's only a few, not many at all. So we just need to pop a few more of these around the place. They've got a bit of a noise uh, area of effect around them, so I'm just thinking of maybe adding in, yeah, a couple of extra roads around. So let's just do that. There we go, we can see them going out. Let's just move these trees away because I accidentally had the thing turned on. Excellent, we'll just pop a couple down the side. There we go, so does it say on here? There we go, 26 taxis in each one. That is worth knowing. Thank you, taxis. Oh, while we're over here, add in a taxi depot. Um, I put in the helicopter stop over here. And I was told, of course, I completely forgot about that, that there is a built-in helicopter stop in here. There we go. Look, we can see this pink line that goes across here. We can attach that up to any helicopter line that we do, uh, which we'll get to at a later date. So I'm just going to remove that. And there go all of my taxis. Uh, let's just... Oh, we'll do it this way. Let's just set this road up so you can give way. Everybody else can go on. Dedicated turning lanes. Excellent. Do we have any taxi stands over here? Oh my goodness, this place is still so busy. I don't think we do. And I'm just wondering whether we could squeeze some in. We've got all of our parks and things, so I don't want to mess with those. Uh, people can walk out and get on the buses. I'm wondering whether we could just pop some in the front here. If we just made a slight adjustment to what's going on, then we could squeeze one in there. It's going to remove some of the bushes and then we could do one here right by the bus stop. There we go. I think that's fine. Excellent. And that just means I'd like to put a depot in this area as well. I also want to put one down here in our industrial area, but I'm just being wary of adding more traffic to roads that we don't want more traffic added to. Do you know what? This road down here really should join up into here because even all of this traffic is coming up and going through this road oh man the traffic in this area i hate this area i'm not looking at it anymore um so maybe we'll add it this side instead down here this will be good look there's a little enclave of things going on here yeah let's do that that's probably about the fourth time i've used the word enclave today let's face it against that road there we go any taxis want to head out Yay! Heading out. And I'm also going to pop one over here by Orlando Heights, just behind our station here. I'm going to anarchy that in, because I'm pretty sure that will be perfectly fine. Yeah, there we go. That fits in nicely with the TV broadcast station, the car park, and all the other things that we've got going on here. This is looking like a really busy, happening little spot. I'm liking it. 
I'm liking it a lot. Just on a little bit of research, and apparently the grabber button is so you can put other icons here in the UUI. So I'm just wondering whether we do grabber and we'll grab this. So right click, move button to unified UI panel. Does not always work, but you can undo. Oh, there we go. And then right click detach button. So we'll get rid of that. Now that is nice. I like that. So if I, yeah, I want to move this up here. If you can move up. Whoa, that is a lot of lag moving that for some reason. Is that going to work okay? It hasn't adjusted the top of that, but this is in beta. Oh, I like that. That is really good. Okay, so this area down at the front here, the Oak Transit Hub, no name changes yet because you haven't seen that episode where I asked for the name changes, so we'll get to that. Um, we want to put some nice, cool, you know, unique buildings, parks, that sort of thing down here. I'm just noticing uh, that we've got some issues with parking because I use Traffic Manager. I have the extra option with the parking. So let's do car park no let's not do that parking and add in what what the heck is going on here oh there we go thank you very much and just add in a very small two by two parking there's a couple of spots down here where i think they'll work very well let's face it this way there we go hopefully to help out with that there Anywhere else we can add some in by the school? Why not? There we go. Excellent. So what unique buildings could we pop down here? So I'm thinking just in this section here, a little shopping complex. Now we've got available to us the department store. Uh, we also have available to us the Mall of Moderation. And we have the Grand Mall. And I'm wondering whether we could in some way fit all of those in here. Now that's got a huge nice bonus area around it of entertainment the noise pollution isn't going to reach anywhere that's going to be a problem so that's okay uh, the mall of moderation i don't think that's going to be a problem either no that's fine and the department store so they're all pretty similar so actually we could probably try and get that connected over here yeah that would be good and use this space here so maybe let's run some of these roads along here that doesn't look like it comes out there at 90 degrees does it no, that road really... Neither of these two rows look like they come out at 90 degrees at all. What's happened there? We just line that up. Um, and line that up. That looks a little bit better. Because what I was going to do was... I was going to bring this road straight out here. And just sort of see where it came to. Nice, big, long avenue down here. I think that's okay and then i'm actually thinking whether we could widen this let's go for a wider road instead yeah there we go that's looking nice i'm liking that yeah excellent and then we start adding some of these nice buildings on here so this is now going to sort of curve around here i'm just wondering where we could attach that to so now i'm wondering whether we make a little change to this area here because this is going to get super busy and instead of having this curve into this section have that come down here and this other road connects to it let's just follow this along here so let's go along the river we'd need to adjust our train line a little bit yeah let's just change this i'm going to change this we're going to delete that we're going to delete that and we're going to delete that uh, this one is going to come to we're going to lose some buildings, but we can we can fix that afterwards to there. Yeah, actually, we're going to bring that road out to there. Sorry, buildings. And then we'll bring this up to connect to that. So let's curve that around like this. Yeah, that goes okay. Excellent. So then you've got access to there. And then this one over here, we're going to take that one. That is going to curve into there like that so we've got that access to this one that access to that one i'm going to straighten this one out i think yeah that'll be okay this might get a little bit busy but i think we'll be okay i was looking for my traffic manager mod there completely forgot that i'd moved it so we'll do that dedicated lane so this is the way through that's the main way through and then that is like a little something extra and then all i need to do here is attach this road Hmm, and of course that's going to make this. I mean, that is only a teeny tiny cut through. I'm just wondering whether we need to attach it. I've got access down here. I will. I'll leave it attached. Go on, I was thinking I won't, but I must have put it there for a reason. <laughs> what that reason is, 
you'll have to work out for yourself because I have absolutely no idea. I think it was just to help these people get from there to there. Uh, we do have crossways. Yeah, we can always come back and check how that looks. And then we just need to try and do this. And do you know what I'm going to do, actually? I'm going to just do the old tried and tested way of just dropping the road down underneath the railway line. Doesn't even need to go that far. I'm just going to lift these up just a tiny touch. And you know what? I think that will be okay. Yep, we'll go with that. That's good. Excellent. So we've got this main road coming down here now. Let's just sort out this end. There we go. So that's going to be... I want this to be the way through. So that's going to be give way. Like that. Yeah, I know you need power. Whoa, everybody needs power. What the heck's happening? I thought it was a we're not quite connected properly. We need power. Nope, it's I've deleted power from jumping across here. Okay, we can fix that. So let's have our offices back on here. Ooh, I'm sorry. Uh, we're going to put some more offices there and just over there as well. And we might as well go for that one. Let's just hope that they fill in rather quickly before lots of people die. Oh, there we go. The power's jumping across. Excellent. Woo. Ooh, all to say quick sip of tea. So as we get to this area over here, I would like to make sure that we do have enough parking to care for the parking needs of all of our buildings. And I would like them to have their own sort of little entry and exit to them as well. So I'm thinking we'll start down here. I do like these one new roads. I think what we're going to do, so that one goes that way. Yeah, let's start with one um, here. It should be enough room. So if we go like this. There we go. So you can get in, you can get out. And then if we add on, so that could. Oh, man, that is just so close to the railway line. Darn it. Do you know what I'm going to do here? That's fine. We're going to go back to these roads and we're going to take this one here up to there. And instead, it's going to face this way. There we go. I think that's okay. If you're coming down here and you're seeing this lovely place to come and go shopping, you would certainly want to come and go shopping here, wouldn't you? Brilliant. So what I'm going to do is just move this over a bit. There we go. Very good. Very good. So then we'd like to get some parking in here. I'm thinking if we can get a nice big car park over on this side. One of these large ones. That's a small one. Here we go. Uh, which way around could we have that? Let's have that go this way. No, let's have it go that way. Excellent, excellent, excellent. That's good. Yep, I'm liking that. And then what else could we have? We're going to add some shops and different things along here as well. Um, so let's then add... Let's come back into our one U. I'm just wondering actually whether to... I'm keeping these one U, so we're sort of keeping the traffic moving yeah let's leave them like that and i'll tell you why because what we're going to do is we're going to come up here and add another one there then we're going to come along here and add another one there there we go we'll have this as a separate one over here and then we've got this one here as well i think that'll be okay and i'd like on this one uh, let's go into here this we've got the grand mall and ideally, I mean, this is the nice looking side of it, which if it went there, but ideally I want that facing the water. So I think we're going to have to try and get another road around the back there. Hmm. In fact, I'm going to put that next to this one. Yeah, we need another road around the back there. So what I'm going to do is, let's see how we're going to do this. I'm going to just put that right there. Then we're going to do this. And we're going to pick it up, and we're going to turn it around. There we go. Look at that. So if you're coming down the water, coming down by train, you get to see this nice open area here. I think that fits in very well. And then this one here can be for the, what was it called now? The Mall of Moderation. Yeah, this one should fit in that spot. I think we just need to straighten this road out. I put a bend in it thinking... That might be better, but I'm not sure that is going to be the best thing to do. I'll tell you what, it's probably just easy enough just to delete those. And then we'll grab that one there, and then we'll go straight across. There we go. We're going to put that to one side like that. Everybody's happy about that. Excellent. They need water and power. So let's give them some water while we think of it.
There we go. That should be good. And then we can have a nice big parking area in here as well. That's more like it. That's what I'm looking for. Is that the largest one I've got? I thought I had a really long parking. Oh, what about one of these? The down. Ooh, 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 ooh. The big downtown garage. Modern garage. I don't know what these look like. Let's just come out of that view. Just see. No, I don't want the modern garage down here. This is like really posh. Yeah, not going to put that right in front of there. Hmm. I'll tell you what, how about something like this? Let's drag this road up here as straight as we can. And then we've got the University City Parking, which is a nice brick-built building. If we get that right up here as far as we can. I don't want it to overlap here unnecessarily. No, I think that's looking okay. And that is going to give us a huge amount of parking there. And then also in this section here, uh, we could use some of this. Uh, where was it? It's called light parking. This one here. Yeah, I like these. So what we can do is pop those off that side. Uh, I want trees there. I'm going to leave a gap in between. For trees and foliage, how many could we fit? I think three would be good. And then we could... I want to grab that road. Thank you. We could just continue this road. Is that the same as that one? I think it is. Up to the top and a little bit further. Connect that up. Okay, this area is expanding. Oh, I've just noticed this big lumpy over here. That is not good. Let's just see if we can deal with that. Uh, nope, not with that one. This one here. <laughs> Every time it catches me out now, I'm switching between vanilla and... Yeah, I'm not going to be able to do that, am I? If I take that and that and set that as the same height as here, that's going to maybe take it out a little bit. I think that'll probably be... Yeah, that's just weird, isn't it? Okay, let's just do the height of all of that to this. Yeah, there we go. Excellent. Right, okay. So, not so lumpy and bumpy as it was before. We've just got floating cars now. Nice. So, we've got parking down here. I've just put this around the back here uh, just to pop in a little warehouse because we know we're getting a lot of goods coming over here. Um, nothing too big. Something like that. I think would be perfect and we can set that to be uh commercial zone goods there we go because they're going to be sold here and if we fill that up they'll bring them over here and get them ready to be sold you're complaining about a lack of water my friend that no longer is a problem we can fix that for you there we go excellent so they'll be happy with that we've got a nice little plaza over here people can enjoy when they're taking their flying car up into the car park um, I'm not quite sure what we're going to do along the front here. I don't want this all to be parking. Um, I'll tell you what I am going to do is put some more of these. Is that the right one? No. I hate it when he does that. Picker picker doesn't always pick the right one. It's a nice big tall one. Uh, like that. Taller. Like this. Even taller. <laughs> there is a tall... Oh, here we go. It's this one here. 
the tall one. I think that's it. And then I'm going to put these along the front. Yeah, there we go. I think they look really smart. I have this as a nice tree lined. Look at that. Very, very nice. I'm actually wondering whether to change this. I'm going to take out the ones on this side. Yeah, there we go. We're going to do that. And even though there are trees that are down here, I'm going to change this to be mm, 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 this tree down here. So it's tree lined, a nice tree lined road all the way down this way. There we go. I think that's smart. I think that looks nice. Oh, look at that. A double tree line road with all this amazing shopping over in this area. That is looking good, looking good. Right, what else could we add to spiff up this area? Okay, what I'm thinking of is just doing a little something over here, but I don't want it... I want a road that comes through here and connects over here, but I don't want it to be a... A proper big cut through road and this little small road here i think would be perfect because we've got our little temple over there and we've got the other buildings that go along this one from our content creators pack over here so we've got like the drive-in restaurant oriental restaurant oriental market noodle restaurant raymond restaurant uh, maybe not the service station one but if we could run a road under here and connect to that i think that would be good so let's grab that road Mm, and see whether mm, uh, we could. There we go. So if we do something simple like that, we'll give it dedicated lanes and we'll say give way. And I'm just wondering whether these little buildings here, they're not too big. Whether we could just fit a couple in there. And I'm just thinking people would come over here perhaps get off their mass transit, grab something to eat and go shopping, or the other way around, they'll go shopping, come back over here, and then grab something to eat. I think that is the idea we've got. So let's see. I don't mind that one being off on the main road. He's actually bigger than I thought. I thought there was another small one. Let's just see if we can move some of these up a bit. Do you know what, actually? I like the way that they sort of fit in there along the main road. I'm going to still keep this little cut through here because it ties it together with this area over here. But I think that just looks nice. I'm liking it. Let's get a little bit of trees and bushes and rocks and things. Make it look even nicer. Oh, there we go. I'm liking the look of that. That is really, really nice along here. Fantastic models on these buildings. And that just fills that little spot nicely and connects over here as well. Oh, I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot. And we've got this little section over here I would like to add a building into. Uh, we're going to take our 2U row. Let's have a look which one. Yeah, this one here. And I want this sort of coming across at an angle. But I want it to be straight and not to bend and connect down there. I think that should be enough room. And I'd like to add into here this. There we go. Excellent. So that is our, this one here. That's our stadium. Again, lots of entertainment. Some noise pollution, but it didn't go any further than over here. And I think that just looks perfect on that corner over there. A little bit up and down with the land, but we can work with that. Oh, there we go. Let's just smooth this out a tiny bit. We grab that one. Grab this. Yeah, that's not too bad. Let's use this one, actually. There we go. And then, of course, we can always hide that with some more trees and bushes. Why not? Yeah. 
Man, this is going to draw in a lot of people. We're going to need some parking at the front here. I am wondering whether... I mean, I'm thinking parking, but they could literally walk from here to here. And they'd be they'd be there, wouldn't they? But it just seems a bit rude not to put some sort of parking out the front. nice looking nice i'm loving it i'm loving it i found these little covered car parks that i completely forgot i had um i'll just show you what they're called this one here covered parking which is nice uh, if you want the details for all of these different things probably a good idea to jump on my discord because i'm not adding all the assets uh, to my collection there's just too many assets i just keep the mod list uh, updated as much as i can oh but i'm really liking this i'm thinking we need a little something over here. How about the Burden Bee Haven? How many times have I put that in the middle of my city where it's noisy and messy and dirty and polluted? Whereas somewhere like this, look, on the coast, tucked away, and you can come and pay a little visit to that and keep this as a sort of little park area. I think that would be really, really nice. at that look at that and a lovely little walkable path along the front as well very nice and then the last little spot oh very good very good is this little spot here i wanted to try and fill in f into the right of this road mm, so what could we use down here There we go, a couple of little park assets, something for the kiddly winkies to come and enjoy. Some parking here if you need it. Yep, and some people are already using that. Oh, I think that is just looking fantastic. And uh, let's just grab that and draw something in there just to fill that spot. And the one on the other end. Oh, I think this is looking particularly fantastic. So I'll tell you what we're going to do. Uh, let's put prop and tree and a key was already on. So why would that not go in there? Mm, let's try singular. Okay, yeah, let me draw them in singular. There we go. Just wanted to fill these little green spaces. So how about a nice little time lapse showing off all of this stuff?
I'm really very pleased with how this area turned out over there. Oh, that just looks fantastic. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Any name suggestions for this little spot down the front here? It's sort of like waterfront shopping, tea related. You know how we do things. Let me know in the comments below. Thank you very, very much for watching. Thank you for your continued support. And don't forget, be back here tomorrow for our vanilla playthrough in Antarctica. I'll see you then. Have a great day. Bye-bye.